Hi, this is Mandy from Sunflowers and Doors. Welcome back to my channel. So today is um, a flip through of two uh, Tim Holtz altered file folders um, that I've been working on. Um, yeah, I hope you uh, hope you enjoy them. So um, this is the first one. Um, the fabric is Tim Holtz, uh, front and back, even collecting some of the remnants, which I'll just pop over there. Um, I've put some um, edgings and a book plate on here. The, uh, I haven't put a f um, closure on any of these, on either of these rather, um, but I have put a little eyelet just with some, um, I suppose, bling, if you like. Uh, I don't know if you can see this one. This one says how beautiful life is when you're in the world and just a little clock uh, on the front of that as well. It's attached with um, a two mil uh, elastic cream in colour um, and the profile on this one is, is quite chunky but it's not um, too chunky. So uh, we start off then with this front page here and we've got a flip up here uh, with two pockets, one bigger pocket, one smaller pocket. The big pocket here has got um, a load of Tim Holtz ephemera um, just literally uh, hiding in there. Uh, there's some more Tim Holtz ephemera, some labels there, and again, some more um, just kind of journal cards or, or what have you. Um, again, down the bottom, we have another folder and uh, another second folder. And these pretty much just mirror the top. So we've got some more labels there and some of the um, familiar Tim Holtz uh, cards that can be used as journaling cards. So we flip this back over and we've got another pocket behind here. And in here we've got um, a Tim Holtz journal card here. And this is a cluster um kind of page border I suppose more than anything so it would kind of jump on the side of your page there um, that I put together um, these were from uh, inspired from Tanya at Tassie Treasures absolutely love them have loads of them um, where I did a huge mass make um, and as I said they're great to add to a page border or you can even use them as a bookmark okay on this side here we have got a um, flip up, uh, a policy closure here, which I am going to put together with you guys. Now, I didn't know whether I wanted to go with the embroidery thread, which is softer um, and a lot more gentle, or whether I wanted to go with the hemp cord, uh, which is a lot thicker uh, and a lot more um not kind of robust but it does take um a bit more uh, encouraging shall we say so i am gonna go with the another one here somewhere which i can't find at the moment but i'm gonna go with the hemp cord because i think it'll be longer lasting Okay, and all we're going to do here is we are going to pop this. We've got two little um, circular uh, clip areas there. Uh, would have held together with a brad. Just going to pop this underneath this one here. The bottom one has been attached um, to the page. And then the top one obviously is ready to wrap around the cord so that is what we will do but on the inside of this one we've got um two pockets both of them have been um just just put a couple of tim holtz um journal cards in those there is also a side pocket for this one so i will show you that now Okay, so 
Uh, this has been attached to the page across the top, the bottom and down the left. So it gives you a full pocket here. And in here, I've literally just popped in um, a mixed media card that I was working on. Um, and I ended up using a lot of the Tim Holtz bits and pieces. So I've just popped that in there for a little bit of extra interest. Okay, we flip it over then. We've got a full page belly band. Uh, we have got a... Um, altered giant playing card and I put some of the Tim Holtz tissue paper on that one uh, I think it looks just really really um, quirky absolutely love the effect we've got an altered play uh, an altered paper kit paper clip oh gosh my words today altered paper clip that I've just popped on there <coughs> Excuse me, another pocket here and a couple of journal cards tacked inside. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then we've got our journal. Um, so there's a little journal inside. It's made, uh, the cover is a patchwork of um, the card from the Tim Holtz collections. Um, inside I've just put some packing um, material on the inside and some <clears throat> fabric tape to kind of secure the middle. And I've just put literally some... Um, papers, um, vintage music sheets, some um, piano rolls, tea dyes, coffee paper. Um, yeah, just a mix there. Uh, and I've attached that with the two mil um, elastic cord. So I haven't stitched anything in. I've literally left it so that as you use it, you can take it out and replace it. Um, so that is the journal. On this side here then, which is the second side of this uh, folio, we've got um, a page here with two pockets. There are a number of journal cards that have just been popped inside of the pockets there uh, with writing space on the back. And then when we come to the next section, we have got a fold over flap here and there are three pockets. So there's one pocket in here, two and three in there. And I've just again popped some journal cards inside of those pockets. So there's two there, two there and two there. If you wanted to, you could add some additional pocket space here or a belly band, but I kind of like it as it is there. This is the final page. Um, okay, so we've got a couple of things going on here. We've got a flip out here to start with. And I've um, done this in such a way that there's a middle pocket here, two large journal cards inside that. There's a second pocket here with some more journal cards in. And again, another altered paper clip on that side. You flip this over here and we've got a stamp card here with a little bit of fabric, Tim Holtz stenciling and some um, Tim Holtz tickets to add to that. We then look at this side here. We've got another flip. OK, so on this side of the flip, we've got some of the um, photo album cards um, from the Tim Holtz range. We flip it over here. We've got some more photo album cards, a couple of those tucked in a vellum pocket. Uh, here we have got a large text spot, so it's a full-size text spot. You can uh, fill that to your heart's content. Um, we then flip this over here, and we've got two pockets here. One of them has got some Tim Holtz um, pictures with some sentiments, and the other one has got some more of the journal cards. And that is the first folio. <coughs> Excuse the noise. Okay, so the second folio <clears throat> is a slightly softer folio in terms of colour. So again, this is Tim Holtz fabric. This one has got the corner uh, pieces on. <coughs> Excuse me. It's also got the um, clock and the plaque that says how beautiful life is when you're in the world. I have put a... Um, book plate on the front of here just with another one of those corner pieces and some things that you can add a book um add a sheet or whatever um and call it what you will um and then on the reverse it's the same um fabric that i've put on there 
So again, very, very similar. Um, <clears throat> we open it up. We've got a flip up here with some journal cards in and a flip here with some journal cards in. And then tucked into this pocket here, we've got another journal cards and another one of the page um, clusters or page borders, uh, whatever you want to uh, kind of use it for. <clears throat> we've got another one of our flips with uh, a policy closure this one with um, embroidery thread I've tucked a little um, altered paper clip just in the side there and then as we open this section here we've got another two pockets um, and literally quite nice size pockets in fairness with some journal cards tucked inside Okay, I'm just going to pop this back up because otherwise it won't get done. So we then turn over our page. Again, another belly band, an altered paper clip has just been tucked on the side there. A pocket here with some um, journal cards in. And we've got another altered playing card. Uh, that I've just tucked in the back with Tim Holtz um, tissue paper. We've then got another journal here. <clears throat> Again, a patchwork of the different types of Tim Holtz cards, um, fabric, uh, sorry, packaging um, materials on the inside, and then just another uh, lot of papers, coffee dyed, tea dyed, um, some vintage music sheets, uh, some piano roll, just literally a mix of different types of papers, which again have been attached with an elastic so that it allows you to easily take this out. Okay, and then after the journal, we've got another page here with two pockets and a number of journal cards tucked in. We turn this over again and we've got the same setup as the first one. So we've got a piece here that flips over and you've got three pockets on the inside. Journal cards here and just a little pack here of some Tim Holtz uh, labels and tags. Over this side we've got another pocket here which has got both, um, allows you to literally middle section pocket there so you can get access both ways uh, again this is a, a mixed media um, <clears throat> card that I was playing with um, with some fabrics and Tim Holtz clusters uh, some distress inks and um, some uh, gesso a few bits and pieces so I had a lot of fun with that and thought I would just pop that in for some extra interest so we flip this one over here and we have got another pocket again with a journal card just tucked on the inside of there. Uh, all the paper from both of these journals is from the memorandum memoranda um, collection. Uh, it is actually one of my favourites, but um, yeah. So I've got a vellum pocket on the front here with some of the family portraits cards there. We flip this over here. Um, this time we've got a tech spot here with uh, a number of the journal cards tucked in there. You, you've got enough um, Tim Holtz ephemera to pretty much build your own journal in fairness. Um, just checking. Yep, that there is a belly band. So again, you can just tuck something on the inside of that. Uh, this paper here... Um, yeah, definitely from the memoranda um, collection. So on this side here, which is the reverse to that, we've got another pocket and we've got some more of the family album cards. There's four of those in that one there. We flip this over again. Um, we've got another two pockets. This one again with some of the Timbold stickers and sentiments. This one here with just a number of um, the large Tim Holtz uh, ephemera pieces. And we've got the stamp card uh, just tucked to the bottom here with some little tickets inside. So that is the two uh, altered file folders. Um, I've recently done a video on the um, Tim Holtz journals. Um, I've got a lot of people get 
<clears throat> excuse me, getting in touch on those. So um, that's really, really lovely. Just please bear with me. Um, these two, again, I will put the video up and they will probably be going into my Etsy over the weekend um, if you are interested. Um, if you are interested before they go into my Etsy, which is um, the address is detailed below in the description, then please just drop me an email. Again, my email address is, is popped um, in the description below. But yeah, uh, two of the Tim Holtz file folders and um, yeah, I love, love, love how these turned out. Um, really, really love how these turned out. So yeah, thank you for spending a little bit of time um, with me. Let me um, show you what I've been up to recently. Um, until next time, as always, take care of yourselves and um, we'll speak very, very soon. Take care for now. Bye now.